All right, now that you have a little bit of background about what exactly collaborative video editing is and some of its possibilities, and uh, you've had a chance to brainstorm a way that you might be able to use collaborative video editing in your own learning environment, uh, go ahead and type that up in a Word document and basically give yourself a script. And we're going to show you how to record a little re reflection video uh, using QuickTime Player on an Apple. Uh, if you have a PC, uh, you'll just have to use your webcam's built-in software, or you can always uh, just record a little video using an external video camera and uh, import your video that way. Um, so I'm going to go down here, and this is the uh, write-up that I've done in Word for how I might be able to use my or collaborative video editing in my school. And so I'm just going to leave that up on screen, and that will kind of uh, allow me to read right off screen as I talk to my webcam. And I'm going to go ahead and go up here and type in QuickTime Player. And now, uh, with the new Apple computers, QuickTime Player the, that comes with the Mac allows you to both record uh, screen recordings, which will track everything that you do on screen, and it will also allow you to create a new movie recording uh, through the webcam that are built into almost all um, MacBook, MacBook Pros, and iMacs. So I'm going to click New Movie Recording. A little screen will pop up, and this shows you what your webcam is seeing. And uh, you'll also see audio bars down here indicating that your microphone is picking up. Go ahead and kind of position your computer or your webcam exactly how you want it to kind of frame yourself up nicely. And then all you're going to do is hit record, uh, click your Word document to be forward, and go ahead and read it off. So for example, I will go ahead and hit record. And then I'm going to click back here on my Word document, and I'll just read. As the media arts instructor at my school, I am always looking for new ways to capture video. As many... Okay, so I screwed up, and that's okay, because we'll uh, work on editing that once we get into Wii Video. So, as the media arts instructor at my school, I am always looking for new ways to capture video of as many school activities, events, and culture as I can. Unfortunately, the students from my classes that I would hope to shoot video for all these events are usually participating in them and are unable to perform the role of documentarians. With the collaborate, and I'll pause and just keep going. With the collaborative nature of We Video, I could see the role of documentary videographer and editor extending to the entire student body. With the abundance of video-enabled smartphones and pocket video cameras, any student could shoot video of any activity or event they happen to be attending. They could then upload their video to a collaborative they could then upload their videos to collaborative projects set up by teachers or coaches that revolve around the themes of the events and activities. For example, all video shot of the football game could be uploaded to the football game project. All video shot during homecoming week could be uploaded to the homecoming project, and so forth. Then students from my class would be able to go into these collaborative projects and edit the video that had been uploaded from all the various sources during in-class time. I don't really like the way that's worded, so I'm going to say, then students from my class would be able to edit the video then students from my class would be able to edit all the video that had been uploaded from the various sources during their in-class time. Certain projects could even be left open to be edited by anyone from the student body who cared to participate. This could even allow for a quick way for teams that are traveling to upload footage of their competitions to a shared project for the rest of the school to see and edit before the team had even returned home. A school-wide media network is just one of the many useful applications I can envision for collaborative video editing. And once we're done, we just go ahead and hit stop. And you'll notice that I have a movie recording that I can then come up here and we'll do a save as. I'm called this 
we video video brainstorm and we'll go ahead and save that to the desktop for right now hit save and you'll notice that it'll pop up boom right on the desktop and in video number three we'll show you how to upload this video to your WeVideo collaborative editing site